this airplane is really loud. <laughs> Hi guys, Elena Webster here with Mashed Real Estate and right now behind me you see one of our current listings that's under contract. I really want to take you on a tour of this home because it's so unique and so different. It doesn't even feel like a Vegas home. Super hot today, which I'm glad about because the last time I picked a day to film here was super windy. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't have time at all to record this intro because I have to go uh, to my showings and I have just a million things to do today, so just enjoy this tour. And back we are on another day finishing annotating this video. It's a very interesting house. It was built in 1996. 6360 is the square footage of it. It has six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, which means that each bedroom gets its own full bathroom. To the left of it are three car garages. You can also park about three cars outside and maybe other six to eight in the driveway. What a party it would be with all the friends and family. The reason why I mentioned that this home does not even feel like a Vegas home is because traditional exterior stucco colors would be yellow, orange, brownish, greenish. However, seeing this white, it gives me this Miami, Florida vibes. I mean, what a pleasure to my Ukrainian eyes. I love it. I wanted to come over here also to show this pop of color in the form of these fading roses. It is mid-November, so it's a pleasure to me anyways to see these beautiful flowers over here. It's also worth mentioning that this is a cul-de-sac with only four houses, four custom mentions. The monthly entry is only a hundred. It's a pretty cool flex to say that you only have three other neighbors in your community. Here it is, stands very grand. Structurally, it is an extremely solid house. It's built like a rock. It is a bit dated inside, and you'll see in a second, but the beauty of it is that it allows for a renovation because it was built with that in mind. Upon walking in, we enter, and we happen to be in this foyer with a curved staircase and this centerpiece which it's so funny to me because I wanted to pause for a second and just say that every time you walk into a house and you see this round table with flowers on top of it and possibly a round carpet underneath it you know it's gonna be a huge house because not every house can allow for such a luxury and so let's go see the rest of the home to the right you can see the formal dining room which also kind of reminds me of a conference room maybe it's the furniture i also want to apologize for some shaky footage because i recently switched my gear from canon to sony i'm filming i'm filming this with a sony one and it was a bit of a learning curve with the gimbal i'll do one more pan here it's actually much brighter here but the home is facing north and I didn't bother opening another blind. <laughs> right here we can see an open concept floor plan with a kitchen. I'm actually very surprised that this was not more compartmentalized for the time period. So these appliances and cabinets look ultra modern. There's no even hardware pieces on the cabinets. The fridge is really spacious. So this side is the refrigerator, the other side is the freezer. Some of the appliances have been replaced due to the age expectancy. Right here we have some granite countertops with some mirror-like backsplash. Again, you see no hardware on the pieces. We have two windows for more light in here. This is actually fairly spacious and you can fit a lot of appliances and utensils and snacks in here. Right here is an interesting piece. This is a trash compressor, which these modern days, I believe we consume a lot more that wouldn't even fit into the trash compressor. <laughs> here on the main island, again, there is an island in this kitchen. I'm just so impressed with these ultra modern features. Look right here, I press this button and the vent comes up because there's no vent up above to to have a more cleaning look so it just comes up in this futuristic way how cool is that i kind of like it so then none of the smells will be traveling to the rest of the home since it's so open 
very cool feature it just comes right from <laughs> underneath there there is a lot of cabinet space all throughout and the sink i'm surprised the sink is not near the windows so now we're going to go take a quick look at the pantry and then you can see that it, it is all open to the right there is a little breakfast nook with a door that leads to the outside so you can quickly go in and out here is our living room which by the way it's worth mentioning that this home comes fully furnished it is a complete turnkey so you can just buy it grab the key and move in everything that you see here stays so let's go back to this foyer so as you can see it all connects all around let's go back and shut the door boom and right here we have a coat closet and a small powder room half bathroom so because this house was built in 1996 to build something of this magnitude with the same material same ceiling height would probably be with the shortage of labor four five six hundred a square foot so this is a great deal honestly and it's very very rare to find a lot of this size the land is priceless honestly you just can't get enough of it <laughs> i wish i played this grand piano because the sound would transfer beautifully i wanted to show you these windows that are floor to the ceiling and overall even without turning many lights it is a very bright and illuminated house because the back of it faces south which means that it gets a lot of sun exposure here we have a little mini movie theater room with surround sound at the time i was playing some christmas music because i was just all up in the zone in the mood for christmas it was back in november when i filmed this so here you see the second staircase it's sort of a back staircase but first we'll go check out the primary suite which is huge there's also a door to step outside there is one table here and then there's another desk over there i don't know maybe to do some <laughs> business before retiring too bad write down some genius ideas while living in this mansion throughout this home you can do a lot of built-ins because as you can see there's no standard shapes for this home so you can kind of fit in different things walk-in closet with a little island to store watches you can comfortably put a lot of bags shoes coats shorts anything it would fit a lot i don't even have that much clothes honestly in my closet this is quite spacious here we have the built-in wall with the TV. And then we'll go check out the primary bathroom, which this jacuzzi type bath really reminds me of this pedestal style. Um, there's a lot of surround windows. This tub was actually replaced a few years back. And you'll see these monitors throughout the house. There are several of them. They can be turned on and you can view 16 cameras that are on the property, what's happening at which part. Sinks, faucets that are a bit dated, but in a way they're kind of charming. This home sort of takes you to a different time period. So here you have the top, the shower, the most basic shower, honestly, nothing special for Vegas but here there's something interesting so first there's a phone on the wall and then you obviously have your toilet and a bidet next to each other I mean that's an interesting use of space I wonder why they did that possibly for plumbing reasons <laughs> but okay all right so going back into our primary suite by the way when you see the flickering on the camera it's me again trying to sort out my ISO settings on the new camera yeah it's it's been quite an experience and i was also while i was filming this i was in a huge rush <laughs> to go out and see my other clients it's super difficult as a full-time realtor to just 
constantly film. Laundry room here that's fairly close within maybe 20 feet um, of your primary suite. I didn't turn the light on because it was flickering. So here you have your first guest bedroom with a full bathroom. I think it's a little bit of a funny location because it's right next to the laundry room and the garage. So I guess you give it to the one friend who's staying with you who you don't like that much. And then, like I said, every bedroom comes with its own walk-in closet. I apologize for these lines on the screen. I'll do much better, honestly, recording my next house tour walk video because this one was just in a rush and I, I had to let an appraiser in. Um, so while an appraiser was in there, I had like 20 minutes to film this. So now we're back in the garage, the front of the house, so the three garages that I showed you at the beginning of the video. To, in the left closet, there's just the water heater, nothing interesting. The garage is compartmentalized to my surprise. Here's the central vacuum system, which not a lot of homes have these days, but it's an interesting addition. So here we got an electric grass mower cart. <laughs> because there's a lot of grass in the backyard. You'll see it needs a lot of maintenance. So here we have just a little security system going on, which will be cleaned up before the sale finalizes. Um, another exit door to the trash cans and the side yard. So here you have some closets. Wow, that was really chic. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Again, the learning curve. So now let's exit out the garage and go upstairs. So upstairs we go. There's actually a lot of steps. I didn't count them, but I'm sure there's more than 20. It feels like we're going up to heaven. Look how bright it is. I need to adjust my exposure. Here we go. So now you can see how high up we are from the first floor. And then upstairs it's carpet. And this right here is an Echo B thermostat. Four 18-ton ACs have been replaced, and these thermostats can be controlled from anywhere. Right now, we are in the second guest bedroom. So you can see some office built-ins, some built-in shelves. They really did go all out with putting as much shelving as possible. The handyman was working here earlier, so he left some things behind that will be picked up later. Overall, a pretty clean bedroom. It's not huge, but it's fairly functional. What do you guys think so far of this house? Leave a comment below. We have a office here. It's not considered a bedroom. It's just an extra den. And now this is one of the coolest parts of this home is this outdoor patio. We are standing on top of the primary suite. And then as we go out here, you can kind of sort of a little bit see the strip and that's the sphere that they're building. I'm so excited for all the new construction projects in Vegas. By the way, I probably should make another video on awesome things coming to Vegas. You see that letter sitting on the floor? I bet you if you put that letter up against that side, you could see the full strip line. Um, outside. So this is the coolest part of the house, definitely, because it doesn't feel dated to me. It's just green and you can only see this mature greenery, obviously, in houses that are 20, 25, 30 years old. So going here to the back, you could probably have 10 to 15 people hanging out on this patio. This is one of the AC systems that's been replaced. Back in the office we are. This video tour might remind you just a little bit of a video game because we just travel from place to place with the cuts. And I promise you guys, I will get so much better with handling the footage, editing, and providing notes for each property further down the road. Thanks so much for sticking around up till now if you're still here. So here on the right side, you have another closet. This is not the bedroom's closet, it's just an additional closet. There's no shortage of space here. And then this is a very interesting shape of the bedroom because it's not quite square, it's not even rectangle. The house itself is a, you know, interesting shape. So here you have your own full bathroom. I don't think that this room was used very much. And just in general, the guest bedrooms weren't hugely used as much as the downstairs. This is the ultimate party house, as I would call it, because 
Um, you can have a lot of people hanging out here. There's a lot of parking space. There's a lot of just in general space. You're kind of out there. Nobody really cares what you're doing here. There is an HOA, but there's only four houses in this community. If you are throwing out a party with 100 people, it's not like anybody's going to care unless it's going a little bit out of control. Another closet for some towels. This house, by the way, was um, airbnb before for some mad money. And so here we have another bedroom with the half circular <laughs> window surrounding it. Each state might have a different definition of a bedroom. However, in the state of Nevada, according to our statutes, it needs to be at least 60 square feet and the closet space needs to be at least 10 square feet. It needs to have a window. Some states would say it cannot be connected to another bedroom so like if you need to get to that bedroom you will have to go through another one so this room this house has six full bedrooms but also it has several dens which those dens although they could be potentially a bedroom an office they would not be considered a bedroom right now i'm so happy that we are finally hitting up the last bedroom which is my favorite bedroom i would claim this room if i lived here this is the only bedroom that faces south it faces the pool and the greenery and it is the only bedroom that gets the maximum amount of light throughout the day so this would make a perfect room for filming for making youtube content this home is spacious enough to accommodate a lot of people and i would totally quarantine in here because you have your resort style backyard in the space and it just is far away enough to not be bothered by anything and anyone but at the same time it's in the city still now we're going out to this coolest part of the house and i decided to leave some ambient noise in so you can hear the beautiful sounds of birds singing and it was such a gorgeous day it was very calm and peaceful you can see that the leaves on the trees aren't even moving that much how peaceful it was there is a lot of grass and it's very rare to find a lot of this size so the lot area is 38,000 square feet almost an acre but it's very very spacious and like i said for vegas it's a rarity for other cities and states it might be not something special at all but for here it's quite amazing and also to see this much green grass again this mature landscaping adds so much character to this home newer developments are actually often restricting um, putting grass in because you know you gotta remember we live in a desert and we gotta conserve water as much as possible really great entertainment area here was the pool and the hot tub the pool has been resurfaced several years ago technically speaking the guts of this home as far as electrical plumbing have been replaced for the most part it's just the design of it that needs a little bit of updating well some people might say yeah i would gut the entire house and some people might say you know what this is actually still functional so i can keep it as is so the house is all white in the back as well. And then we're going to go and check out that little, tiny little bar slash clubhouse area and see what's inside of it as well. The pool has also been cleaned recently, so the water is just so blue. That day was really hot, so I sort of wanted to jump into that pool. You can see some birds flying. And now we're gonna go and step inside this little structure here. By the way, if you didn't know, scorpions live inside palm trees. Go Google this. <laughs> it's a true fact. So here we have a little bar area with barbecue, which all conveys. And all of these jars will probably be removed, but I call them the goodies because you can find anything in these old houses, like cleaning supplies, salt for the pool, anything. So inside of this little structure, we have the shower to quickly rinse off after the pool as well as a little um bathroom a lot of these mansions actually have this outdoor feature so that you don't go all wet and salty into the 
home, you can kind of rinse off and change here. I believe that that system could be a some kind of sound system um, for the outside because remember, the party. So over here, there's still so much land and space. It's very refreshing to see so much green grass. So right here, we just have some generators and some, I don't even know what you would call them, just different things laying around. Here you have the basketball court, which that um, cement foundation could already be a foundation for putting a glass gym up above, like a glass cover. It would honestly take me about two hours to do tours in this home, like 20 minutes to turn all the lights on and prepare the place and play the music, another hour, and hour and a half to walk throughout the home and tell as much as possible on it, because there's a lot of data to be memorized. And then 20 minutes to turn all the lights off and leave the house in the condition that I found it. So it was very time consuming, but I love doing it so much. I love our listings and our clients. I love learning. Thanks so much for staying this long. And there will definitely be many more uh, house tours on this channel. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.